The Thrill of the Unknown We are explorers by nature. From the moment we take our first steps, we are driven to discover, to see what's around the corner, to push the boundaries of what we know. It's this insatiable curiosity that has fueled exploration since the dawn of humanity. It has led us to the highest peaks and the deepest oceans. But some of the greatest mysteries lie buried beneath our feet, hidden in the sands of time. These are the secrets of our past, waiting to be unearthed. Archaeology is our window into the past. It allows us to piece together the story of humanity. But what happens when we uncover artifacts or sites that defy explanation? What happens when the pieces of the puzzle simply don't fit? These unexplained discoveries challenge our understanding of history. They force us to question what we thought we knew. And they remind us that our planet still holds countless secrets. Imagine divers exploring an ancient shipwreck off the coast of Greece. The year is 1901, and the waters are teeming with the mysteries of the past. These divers, braving the depths, are on a quest to uncover relics lost to time. Amidst the sand and seaweed, they stumble upon a corroded lump of bronze. At first glance, it seems like just another piece of debris, a forgotten remnant of a bygone era. But this discovery would soon prove to be far more significant. What they found would change our perception of the ancient world forever. This was no ordinary artifact. It was something extraordinary, something that would baffle and intrigue scholars for decades to come. This was the Antikythera mechanism, a device of astonishing complexity. Imagine a machine, crafted over 2,000 years ago, with gears and dials so intricate that it rivals modern technology. Each gear, each dial, meticulously crafted by ancient hands. The precision and skill required to create such a device are mind-boggling, especially considering the era in which it was made. The Antikythera mechanism is so advanced that scientists are still trying to unravel its secrets. Decades of research have only scratched the surface of its true capabilities and purpose. It's like finding a smartphone in King Tut's tomb. The level of sophistication is that astounding, bridging a gap between ancient ingenuity and modern technology. Theories about its purpose abound. Some believe it was an astronomical calculator, capable of predicting celestial events with remarkable accuracy. Others speculate it was a navigational tool, guiding ancient mariners across the seas. The Antikythera mechanism reminds us that our ancestors possess knowledge and skills that we are only beginning to rediscover. It challenges our understanding of history and technology, showing us that the ancient world was far more advanced than we ever imagined. As modern scientists and historians continue to study this enigmatic device, we gain new insights into the brilliance of ancient civilizations. The Antikythera mechanism stands as a testament to human ingenuity, a bridge connecting the past and the present. Who knows what other secrets lie hidden beneath the waves, waiting to be discovered? The Antikythera mechanism not only illuminates the past, but also inspires future technological innovations. It is a beacon of curiosity, urging us to explore, to learn, and to marvel at the wonders of human achievement. High on a Turkish hillside lies a site that rewrites history. Forget Stonehenge, forget the pyramids. Gobekli Tepe is the oldest known monumental structure on Earth. Dating back over 11,000 years, this site predates agriculture and even pottery. Imagine massive T-shaped pillars, some weighing over 20 tons, arranged in perfect circles. These pillars are adorned with intricate carvings of animals, both real and mythical. Who built this incredible site? How did they move such massive stones without the use of the wheel? Was it a temple, an observatory? We just don't know. Gobekli Tepe challenges our assumptions about the capabilities of our hunter-gatherer ancestors. Charting the unknown, the Piri race map. This ancient map, dating back to the early 16th century, has baffled historians and cartographers alike for centuries. 
It's not just a piece of parchment, it's a window into a world of exploration and mystery. How's this for a head-scratcher? Imagine a time when the world was still largely uncharted, and yet, here we have a map that seems to defy the knowledge of its era. A map, drawn in 1513, that depicts not only Europe and Africa with astonishing accuracy, but also the Americas, and even Antarctica. The level of detail is so precise that it raises questions about the sources of this information. This is the Peary Race map, named after the Ottoman admiral who owned it. Peary Race was not just a naval commander. He was also a scholar and a cartographer, deeply invested in the art of map making. The map's detail is incredible. It's not just a rough sketch. It's a meticulously crafted document that shows a deep understanding of geography. It shows rivers, mountains, and coastlines that were unknown to Europeans at the time. How could this be? The map includes features that were not officially discovered until centuries later. Some suggest that ancient seafarers, perhaps even earlier than the Egyptians, had already explored the globe. These early explorers might have charted these lands long before the age of European exploration. Others propose that the map is based on even older source material, passed down through generations. These sources could have been ancient maps or documents that have since been lost to history. The Piri Race map is a cartographic enigma that continues to spark debate and speculation. Its existence challenges our understanding of history and suggests that there is still much to learn about the ancient world and its explorers. What secrets does this map hold, and what can it teach us about the past? Whispers from the Past The Voynich Manuscript This one reads like an Indiana Jones movie. Imagine a book filled with strange symbols and illustrations written in a language that no one can understand. This is the Voynich Manuscript, a 15th century codex that has baffled cryptographers and linguists for centuries. Is it a coded message? An ancient herbal remedy guide? An elaborate hoax? Theories abound, but the Voynich Manuscript remains as indecipherable as the day it was found. It's like the ultimate secret code, daring us to crack it. Lines in the Sand, the Nazca Lines Enigma. Picture this, you're flying over the desolate Nazca Desert in southern Peru. As you look down, you see something astonishing. Etched into the earth are hundreds of lines, geometric shapes, and giant figures of animals and plants. These are the Nazca Lines, created over 2,000 years ago by the Nazca people. Some lines stretch for miles, perfectly straight. The figures are so large, they can only be fully appreciated from the air. Were they ceremonial pathways? Astronomical calendars? Messages to the gods? The Nazca Lines remain one of archaeology's most intriguing mysteries. Powering the Past The Baghdad Battery This ancient artifact has puzzled historians and scientists alike sparking debates and theories that span decades. Our final stop takes us to Iraq, a land rich in history and mystery. Here, amidst the sands and ruins, lies a discovery that could potentially rewrite the history of technology. In 1936, archaeologists unearthed a collection of clay pots, copper tubes, and iron rods dating back to the Parthian or Sassanid period roughly 200 BC to 650 AD. These artifacts, seemingly ordinary at first glance, held a secret that would intrigue the world. This unassuming collection of artifacts has come to be known as the Baghdad Battery. Why battery? The name itself hints at a function far more advanced than what we typically associate with ancient civilizations. Because some scientists believe these objects when filled with an acidic solution like vinegar, could have generated a small electric current. This theory suggests that our ancestors might have had knowledge of electricity long before it was officially discovered in modern times. Was this ancient technology used for electroplating, a process to coat objects with a thin layer of metal, or even for medical purposes, perhaps as a primitive form of electrotherapy? 
the possibilities are as fascinating as they are endless. Or was it something else entirely? Could it have been a religious artifact, a tool for alchemy, or even a simple storage container that coincidentally had the right components to produce electricity? The Baghdad battery challenges our timeline of technological advancements. It forces us to reconsider what we know about the capabilities of ancient civilizations. Were they more advanced than we give them credit for? This enigmatic artifact continues to inspire curiosity and debate, reminding us that history often holds more questions than answers. Lost Worlds and Vanished Cultures Each of these discoveries offers a tantalizing glimpse into the past. They remind us that we still have so much to learn about the history of our planet and the civilizations that came before us. These discoveries ignite our imagination. They make us wonder about the people who created these enigmatic objects and sites. What were their lives like? What knowledge and skills did they possess? The beauty of a mystery. Perhaps the true allure of these mysteries lies in their very unsolvability. It's the thrill of the unknown, the possibility that we may never have all the answers. This uncertainty keeps us asking questions. It inspires us to keep searching, to keep exploring, and to keep pushing the boundaries of our understanding. The quest continues. The quest to unravel these archaeological enigmas continues. New technologies and research methods are constantly emerging, offering fresh perspectives and potential breakthroughs. As we delve deeper into these mysteries, we not only learn more about our past, but we also gain a greater appreciation for the ingenuity, creativity, and resilience of the human spirit. And who knows what other secrets lie hidden, waiting to be unearthed, somewhere beneath our feet.